King Donuts or Pancake and Crust or Roco Donuts? Um, give a thumbs up if you like Candy King Donuts. Leave a leave a leave a comment down below if you and tell us what donut you like. It's the end of the question. Yeah, come over here. What did you, he do last night? Wait, you a big present? I think that your elf wrapped all the presents last night. Look at it. I think he did that. Wait, wait, wait. But he didn't have to go back to Santa Claus. Yeah, but he came back and he wrapped all of the presents last night. Oh, so I just snook? What do you think? Oh, okay. You should tell the elf that's dangerous. <laughs> He's holding scissors right now. He's holding scissors. Yeah, should he not be doing that? Yeah, he totally should be not. Because that's really dangerous. He could, he could hurt his, he could hurt himself. Did you put name tags on them? I don't think he did. You forgot to put name tags on them. What is it, mine? Um, I think this one is mine. The big one? Yeah, the big one. Uh, maybe. The other present that was under the tree, the elf wrapped it down. It's um, magical. Uh -huh. Mom. The elf wrapped all the presents last night, Delilah. What do you oh think? Yeah, look at how many presents there Mommy. are. Mommy. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. She's an ice walker and I'm a professional icebreaker. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Oregon. Please, please push that like button. Make us a thumbs up. What kind of donuts do you think they have? <gasps> what kind of donuts did they have this morning? Ooh, candy cane. I want that one. I want candy cane crush. I want that one. I want that one. I want that one. Did you want that one? I want candy cane. Okay. I want the candy cane. Nice I want the books here. Ooh, what are you guys going to get today? What kind of fruit? You're gonna get orange, apple, or banana? I got a banana! I got orange! Alright guys, we're going to the bins. Um, basically gonna be going to the bins for the next few days. It is going to be slow on eBay. I wanted to chat with you guys because I don't want you guys to freak out. Um, look, eBay the next week before Christmas it's gonna be slow it just is what it is it gets slow because people are focusing on other things it's a Saturday you know so weekend before Christmas weekend everyone is out going to parties doing things spending time with family the holidays are here um don't panic sorry people are also starting to travel this weekend because school is officially out so all of those things are happening I always panic a little. I've only had like $30 in sales and it's already 1030. That's super bad, super stressful. It's going to be okay. You know what you do? You take a deep breath and you go to the bins. Joe has been listing like a madman. He is, he drafted everything I bought last night already. So, um, I'm going to go to the bins because I have grandma at home with the kids. Joe's at work. And then um, I'll go there for two or three hours, come home, and I'll photograph all the stuff that he drafted yesterday, get all those listings live. There's about 50 listings, which is perfect. And then I'll photograph the stuff I get today, and then he'll drop those tonight. It's a process, and you can't stop or get defeated just because it's going to be a slow week. Because... The trick here is the following week and the week after and the week after, 
you know, the first couple weeks of the year, they're busy weeks. You're going to get, you know, people shopping, people spending money, people buying the stuff that they didn't get for Christmas. So use these last couple weeks of the year to get as many listings up as you can. Start 2017 with a bang. That's what I'm going to do. You know, I may not have money to go source at Goodwill. Um, money is tight right now. But that's okay because I'm going to source at the bins and my profit margins will be smaller with the stuff I find at the bins for the most part, but you just got to chug along no matter what you can, you know, no matter what you have to do. So that's what I'm up to today. We're going to go to a Christmas light thing with some friends. So that will be super fun. Get some holiday activities in there. We got some cookie kits for the kids to make probably tomorrow. Um, I'll probably do a special Christmas type of activity every day until Christmas, so for the next week, which will be really fun. So we have, what do we have? We have the light thing tonight, we have um, the cookie thing, we have Santa to do on Monday, I want to make gingerbread houses, I want to bake like fresh baked treats, I want to go to zoo lights and I want to go to this other light thing that they do. So. You know, Portland has lots of options. We have lots of lots of fun things that we'll do with the kids throughout the next week and just stay busy. Enjoy the holidays. That's what I that's why I work from home, so I can enjoy the holidays with my kids, right? So I'm home from the bins. We did pretty good. Um I got about 30 pounds and a lot of it was good stuff. I got another Nike tennis dress. Um the last one was totally a flop, but this one um, is a, not a prototype. It's just a custom, and I need to do some more research on it, but it's a Serena quack, Williams quack, dress. Quack, quack, are you quack. quacking? <laughs> Delilah and I are just getting cozy by the fire and warming up, and then I got to bring mm -hmm. all my stuff in. And then I'm watching Scared Up. What are you watching? Scared Up. Scooby-Doo. Say it right. Mm -hmm. The camera. <laughs> Those are cool nutcrackers. I see. Okay, so this is all the stuff I got today. The two IKEA bags. That's the stuff from yesterday and the stuff from Salvation Army the other day that Joe drafted last night. So I'll photograph all of that first and then I'll photograph this stuff and hope that Joe can um Stopped it for me. I'll show you guys what's in here. You guys, remember the Budweiser stocking that I showed you yesterday? It just sold on Instagram. I posted a picture because I had to share it. And uh, it sold to my girl, Miss Six. Six? Six? I, I don't know how to say her name right, but sold to my girl on there. She's I'm going to send it out first uh, thing Monday morning priority mail so it gets there in time for Christmas. And I really hope she fills it up with beer and gives it as a gift for Christmas. Look at picture me, dog. Mofi doesn't get Guys, so I just took the kids to a Christmas event. Um, however, it was out in the middle of nowhere in like the farm country, Oregon City. And this was supposed to be this big Christmas light <gasps> event. Um, however, the weather has been pretty bad and it's my fault. I totally should have checked before I drove out there, but I got there and it was closed and I had to drive like half an hour through ice and snow and it was by far the scariest drive I've ever driven. <laughs> get there and it's closed and I meet my friend. So we drive back out and then I get home and I have to go to the bathroom really bad. So I let the dog out of the kennel. I run up and go to the bathroom. Usually I take her out as soon as I get home, but this time I ran to the bathroom myself. And she peed on my photo setup, like on my fabric. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, which is my fault. I'm not mad at her because I shouldn't, I should have taken her out first. That's what I usually do. She was getting back at me by peeing on something I love or I need. So now I can't take photos tonight. And I was going to finish taking photos, but what are you going to do? I'm going to do a live haul video in a second. So that will be fun. Oh, it's been a long day. 
You guys, I just got done with my live show and I showed the second Nike dress that I found. So today at the bins, I found a second Nike dress. I've not told you guys about this yet. I was going to, I was about to tell you all about this Nike dress I found. It was worn by Serena Williams on court. It's a Nike, it's not a prototype. It's an actual custom dress for her, final cut. Um, so I sold my last, the Nike prototype dress for $324.77 as a second chance offer tonight. I will tell you all about that in a second. Then I talked about it on my live show tonight and I showed that I got a second one. And someone in the chat who follows us and talks to us, I was joking around and I said, I will sell that dress, this, this dress as well, for $324.77. And she said, yes, I'll buy it. I'm not kidding. Please, how can I get a hold of you? I really want to buy that dress. So, Joe, I just sold this one. I don't want to show our messy room, but I just sold this dress on a on a, the live show for another three hundred and twenty four dollars. What? Yeah. Whoa. So, can you check the email? <clears throat> Joe's in charge of the email. I always forget the password. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Super duper, super ooper. You were sleeping. I was trying to text you. I was like, Joe, Joe. Yeah, I fell asleep. So here's what happened with the first one. The first one, the Nike prototype dress that I've been talking about a ton. The buyer didn't pay like I suspected. I closed the thing today and I sent, I sent a second chance offer to someone who had offered me $324.77 because... They had really good feedback. They had bought from me before. I recognize their name. I thought, you know what? If they want it, they can have it. There's been a lot of drama, a lot of excitement. I want this dress gone. And they emailed me back and they said, hey, I know you wanted more for this. Like, is this a, an error? I don't want, like, I said, no, it's yours. Like, look, I'm happy to sell it to someone. And they said, yeah, we watch you. Thank you so much, you know? So that's great. <laughs> and then I found the second one today and I talked about it on the live show, and boom, it just sold. I, joking around, I said, I'll sell for the same exact price. And they said, yeah, I'll take it. Did they email? Mm, I don't know. Which one? Who? Stage place, is there any new emails? Uh, this person was asking how to pay for a dress. Yep, and they emailed us, so we're gonna get this transaction taken care of. Ah, that's like, <laughs> turning okay that's su successfully turning about eleven dollars into um six hundred and fifty dollars <laughs> what Ooh. this is what dreams are made of merry christmas and he's getting a playstation pro for christmas <laughs> maybe maybe not i don't know i don't know if you can get this year <laughs> Just kidding, you guys, I'm so excited. 